Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous video, we have covered the introduction about this Modbus IO card. Okay, so this Modbus IO card is having functionality of analog input, digital input, and digital output. In this, you will not find any analog output channel. Okay, so here we have one more IO card from Augmented Technologies Private Limited, and this is specifically designed for analog output purpose, as you can see here. Okay, it is having four analog output channel. As you can see here analog output one output two output three and here it is output four okay and here you can see it is having a portrait selection dip switch as well and it is having a slave id selection dip switch as well okay so as per your requirement you can select the slave id and you can select the portrait okay so if we open this and then you will see the uh dip switch setting so let me open this okay so let me zoom it here or focus it yeah you can see here this is the slave id selection okay this one is the slave id selection dip switch and this one is the border selection dip switch okay so border rate is set to 9600 as a default and slave id is set to 1 as a default okay so you can change your slave id and border rate as per your requirement here also you will see resolution jumpers okay right now it is selected to 10 bit resolution but you can also select for uh, 12 bit of resolution okay so you can see here 10 bit and 12 bit okay so this is the analog output card you can provide analog input to any industrial device using this analog output card okay and this card is supporting up to 0 to 10 volt output so if your wall or if you're any other device is supporting 0 to 10 volt as an input okay analog input then you can use this card to operate them and this card is also supporting more best serial protocol as you can see on the enclosure this is also rs485 type okay so you can connect this card as well with the node trade ignition scada Capware and our IoT gateways like BL102, R10A or R40A. Okay, and if you have any other IoT gateway or other PLC, then also you can directly connect this uh, analog output card with them. Okay, so that is possible with this analog output card. So let me pack it. So it is packed. Okay, so this both Modbus IO card has a communication protocol of Modbus serial. Okay, so you can connect both of them with any iot device or any other gateway who can directly read data or who can directly update the data in the modbus serial device so this video is specifically about this analog output card we will see this card in the action in the future videos okay how you can change the uh, analog output value from the node rate from the ignition scada from the cap server everything we will see in the future videos also we will see how to integrate this two card with you know node red ignition scada and other scada platform as well as we will see integration between this card and uh, our bl iot products like r10 a gateway or r40 gateway or bl102 gateway okay so stay tuned for the future videos and in the future videos we will cover a lot more things also you can connect both of this card with arduino and raspberry pi okay your raspberry pi can be your raspberry pi 5 or it can be your raspberry pi 0 or it can be your raspberry pi pico okay you can connect this card with that also and you can you know provide digital input from your raspberry pi or your arduino as well you can provide your analog input from raspberry pi or arduino as well so this you can use this card anywhere okay it it is also compatible with plc but apart from plc it is also compatible with any other devices okay so i hope this thing is clear to you and this both modbus io card is manufactured by the augmentic technologies private limited okay you can visit their website you can call their salesperson number to buy this modbus io card okay they also manufacture modbus tcp io card so here you will see rs485 okay so this is the modbus serial io card but if your requirement is for modbus tcp io card then also you can buy it from there you can visit their website and you can order modbus tcp io card as well okay so we will see this both card in the action in the future videos with many other uh, applications and gateways 
so if you still have any question concern or anything you can ping me on the whatsapp telegram instagram anywhere i'll happy to answer your question and we will meet you in the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you